just tell us a bit about your equation with Venkat now. Uh, you've been now together for uh, how many years? Uh, 20 years more than that now? Yes, so, that's true. So tell us... Almost uh, around that much, 20 uh, years. You know, so how does it help you? Um, have, you know, uh, in terms of your own personal life and in terms of some 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 other personalities of yours. I mean, how, how does how, how do you two gel together? So, I mean, he's a partner and a friend also because once you are together for such a long time, then he becomes, you know, he's the person that I would spend most time with amongst any of the friends. So, obviously, he's a friend, and we discuss. So we can discuss not only business issues, we can discuss a lot of personal things as well. And uh, we have a very healthy and good relationship. So I think. Uh, and we complement each other in many ways. Uh, so sometimes I tend to be very aggressive, then he can be a check. Sometimes he has a different way of looking at things, I have a different perspective. Uh, so you know, we have a very constructive debate and uh, a touch wood, a fairly good relationship. So I know, is, as I said, uh, that uh, apart from being a professional colleague and a partner, he's also a personal friend. You have, you have your differences at times? We have our differences at times, at mo may maybe every day, it's, it's, but it's not, so it's more constructive. It's not something that you know it leads to bitterness or either of us will say, you know, you know, I'll stick to my. Uh, the, so it doesn't work like this. So I think it's fairly constructive and uh, uh, it's, it's, it's worked quite well. You know, we keep hearing about disruptive uh, technology or you know uh, disruptive pricing. Uh, you were pioneer of that in as far as the brokerage industry is concerned when you came out with FivePesa.com. What what was the the key key story behind coming out with something like that? So. As an entrepreneur, you wanted to get into a space which was crowded, and you wanted to get into a space where uh, banks and financial financial institutions, like you know the big names, if they set up the securities from they obviously have an advantage because we started a huge credibility. Because if you go to a customer on the street, you will feel a lot more comfortable, you know, dealing in securities or shares, you know, with a bank rather than you know some unheard of name. So at that point in time, obviously we had to rely on. Our ability to do, ability to think differently in terms of pricing technology, uh, and that's how we thought of this. So, when we started FivePesa.com, we thought that the brokerage rates have to come down if uh, transactions happen digitally, and there's no cost of handling it. So, you know, compared to the olden time when there is somebody who will take your orders, go to the ring, obviously there's a human cost. There's a uh, you know there's a time cost and salary, wages, and all these, or if somebody has to take orders on phone, execute it, and physically deliver you the contract note and bills. We realize that people can pay digitally, then there's no incremental cost. It makes no difference if Morgan Stanley uh, places an order for 100,000 shares or some, you know, Murubai places an order for 100 shares if there are 1,000 of them. So we thought that where the brokerage rates will come down, they might come down to say five basis points. We thought, why not start with that? Okay. <laughs> but having said that, the life has come full circle. Now again, we are seeing a lot of disruptive things happening with the mobile and digital technology. Yes. It's very difficult to figure out how uh, the landscape will emerge from here, uh, but I think the one inflection point which was there of internet taking off in uh, say late 90s or you know, early uh, 2000, uh, now there's another one which is more driven by mobile, and obviously we are working on it. We are we are also trying to uh, figure out and you know work. Can we be startup again in terms of our thought, in terms of our creativity? and do something which is disruptive. Okay, let's talk about some lighter aspects of your life. Uh, I believe you are a family man and you encourage that in your office as well, that, uh, uh, you know, you leave office sharp at 6 p.m. and you want, uh, I mean, <coughs> almost everyone to follow that? That is not entirely correct, actually. I don't know where we heard from, but, uh, uh, okay, in the early days I used to work much longer hours. Of course, I try and make sure that there's time for family. But if there's work, then we stay back and other people also stay back. And if there's work, then you come on Saturdays and Sundays also. But most of the f support functions in particular, even sales, I try to say that try and plan your work and resources in a manner that it should not become a habit. You know, it shouldn't become a habit that every day you are there till midnight or every Saturday, Sunday you are there. Once in a while if there's work, you come, we can complete our, uh, there's some extra work. But you shouldn't plan your resources and staffing in a manner. Uh, and I hear about many consulting firms that they work in this manner. Uh, but uh, that's not the right approach. You know, you plan your work, plan your resources that under normal circumstances you have reasonable time for family and uh, in exceptional circumstances you should be ready to uh, you know, work longer hours. So I'm not, I, I'm not as good as Adit Puri, you know, let me put it this way. So. <laughs> but you travel a lot with your family, right? I mean, you have two daughters, a son and you frequently go to Europe and a couple of other destinations. Yes, I, I do travel. So I, we try and take one uh, holidays abroad once in a year and try and take one shorter holiday in winter. Uh, I mean, there's a good time and a quality time that you spend with uh, your family. So whenever they have vacation, 
I try and make sure that, uh, uh, and I like, I love traveling and so does my wife and children. So, you know, it's always fun. Okay, so which are your favorite destinations? So, this year we had gone to uh, New Zealand and Australia and we have been to Europe many times. We have been to US. So, pretty much we have been there in, you know, most of the, uh, you know, destinations all around and we have been to Goa also quite a few times. So, okay. in India, my native place, Udaipur itself is a very good yes. uh, tourist uh, destination as well as, so, I mean, I travel to all the popular destinations, so there's nothing which is, you know. Okay, so you are a Bollywood movie buff? Or not, Bollywood movie buff? I would say that I watch, you know, but maybe, you know, if you say, I mean, I watch more number of Bollywood movies as okay. compared to Hollywood, but I do watch both. But who, who's, your, who's your favorite actor? Who's your favorite actor? My favorite uh, actor actress? is uh, Amir Khan, Salman Khan, Akshay, in the, in the male side, and then you have Deepika, Priyanka. So I'd seen this Bajira Mastani, it's a great movie. Okay. Deepika, Priyanka, it was the standard ones. I mean, I'm not any, uh, okay. all the usual ones. Okay. Uh, Paresh Rawal, again, is a, you know, I like him a lot. Great he was the same college that yes. I was in. Okay. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, Amir Khan was also actually my classmate. Uh -huh. Amir Khan was in your same... Uh, uh, in the same class, actually, okay. in, the, for, in the first two years of college. You know, one more aspect of your life, uh, Nirmal, which not too many would know, but you are doing a lot of uh, corporate social responsibility work. Uh, you adopted a lot of villages. When did that idea strike you? So, I think CSR has been a great thing, you know, that, you know, making it mandatory for corporates. But other than CSR, my family and we also personally do something on the religious... Uh, for our Jain religion kind of a thing. So we created a you know, place of worship which is Thandak here and I mean we have, we have contributed and we've been the founding contribution there in Bombay. But other than that the CSR started actually when it became mandatory. So we thought that let's do some genuine and good work. Uh, it's reasonable money. So last year we had we spent 10 crores on that. This year probably we'll have a larger kitty. Uh, and uh, there's you know one Sarika Kulkarni, she is helping, she has a lot of experience in this, she has done a lot of work in this. Uh, so what we are trying to do is that whatever money we have, make sure that you uh, give some time also, not only you but many of your senior colleagues, and make sure that that money is used uh, effectively and, you know, and purposefully. It's just not that uh, you, know, you write a check and forget about it, you give some time and then money goes an extra mile. You personally travel to some of these villages? Personally, I have been to some of these places, seen and you know, I continue to do that. Okay. Uh, and I want to do a lot more of it actually. Okay. Uh, are you a, a big reader? I mean, do you read a lot? So I do read. Uh, uh, now, there's a big or small, but of course my reading has come down, but I do read a lot. Okay. Which has been your favorite book in stock market? Stock market, I have read uh, all the standard ones, you know, from Intelligent Investor to Liar's Poker. I have read most of them. Okay. The most favorite has been the Reminiscences of a Stock Operator. Okay. So that has been a good movie. In my younger days, I had read a lot of Iron Run also. Mm -hmm. I have, uh, so I, I, I read variety of books. Okay. So from, you know, Being Mortal, which is uh, Gavande's book about old age, uh, to, you know, these uh, motivational books like Bo Boys in the Boat, uh, to a lot of stock market books. I read a lot of stuff. Okay. Where do you see yourself, Nirmal, in next 10 years, uh, 15 years, and what are your plans for your family now? No, I think my family, uh, in 10 years' time, uh, I'll probably continue to do the business and look forward to retirement after 10 years. Uh, as far as my family, I think all the kids have to uh, get educated very well and uh, you know, they should stand on their own feet and start, you know, uh, working and obviously, you know, hopefully and uh, they'll get married well. So I think uh, it's family life which has to go on mm. and all my kids, uh, you know, hopefully so will do well in life, you know, because they're good, uh, sincere and I'm blessed with that. So I'm quite, you know, uh, God has been kind there. Nirmal, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank Not you so much. Not just about, you know, your company but your personality mm -hmm. and thank you so much for taking thank time. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.